I'm asking if she knows. There's no establishment that's taken place, Mr. Hager. That's the problem. You were in the car, and your mother showed you some photographs, right, Ms. Neary? Yes. A photograph. A photograph. A clipping. I, I don't remember which one it was. A photograph. No, not. A photograph or a clipping. A clipping. On it. Was it a clipping with a photograph on it? Yes. And was it a partial profile? I don't remember the picture. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Do you recall making any comments about the nose? No, not specifically the nose. Do you recall making any comments about whether or not it was a good profile? No, I don't remember. I remember what I do remember is glancing at it, and I was tired of it, and I just said, I don't want to see anymore. I don't want to make any judgments. Do you recall saying anything to Detective Bonifer about any resemblance of the newspaper photographs to the man going out the door. She's already established your members of conversation. I'll let him ask. I answer? Yes, ma'am. Uh, could you repeat that, please? Yes. Do you recall making any comments to Detective Bonifer about whether the Newspaper photographs resemble the man going out the door. No, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Do you recall saying that? Uh, you could not promise that you could make an identification to Detective Bodiford. No, I don't remember. Let me ask you if you recall this statement and this uh, reply with Detective Bodiford. Detective Bodiford, do you think that might you might be able to pick it out? Your reply was, I might, I can't promise anything. But I dot dot dot. Do you recall that statement no. and reply? No, I don't remember. And continuing by Mr. Bonifer, what about if you were to see a live lineup? And you're replying, well, again, I can't promise anything, but it could. Dot, dot, dot. Do you recall that? Um, no. Pardon? No. And your reply again, you know, I hate to promise anything I can't, you know. Do you recall that? Some of these statements just being taken out of context. I'm not sure what I was going to buy. If they're read out of context, make your objection timely. I don't have a copy of the document he's reading from, Mr. Simpson. Do you recall discussing with Detective Bonifer uh, a partial profile from the newspaper? Sustained. We've been through that. Do you recall? This statement by Detective Bonifer in this reply. Right, but so far the pictures you've seen, uh, you haven't counted him at least? Yeah, but the one when we had his nose turned a little bit did the best for me, you know. Resembled more than any of the other ones. But the other ones were hard to tell because they had like six different pictures of him, all different, you know. Do you recall that discussion? No.
Honor, Mr. Harvey says my secretary called and there was some emergency in my office. I'm not going to go over All right, good job. We've got a recess now, and uh, I've got a judge's meeting to go to. In spite of the importance of this proceeding, I still have some administrative duties. Um, the reason we started half an hour earlier, I'm going to be in recess now until 2 o'clock. Court will be in recess until 2 o'clock. Everybody remain seated in the George's Island courtroom. We'll be in recess until 2 o'clock. Thank you. 